Welcome to Dynamic Engineers training video on custom crystal filters as they are presented in our 2014 product brochure. Basically what Dynamic Engineers does is we break our crystal filters up into three different frequency bands. This is the way we like to do it. Other companies do it a different way. Different styles are perfectly valid. But we do narrow band, intermediate band, and wide band. Now, how we define those different bandwidths, what I mean is the passband, the 3 dB passband associated with the filter design. Basically, our narrow band filter designs are from 0.01% to 0.05 percentage of the center frequency as the total bandwidth. The narrow, the intermediate band is anywhere from 0.05% to 0.1% of the center frequency for total bandwidth. Wideband is anything beyond 0.1% going up to as much as 1% of the center frequency for total bandwidth. Here's how we've structured in the brochure. We have basically sprinkled the brochure with some representative design examples. Crystal filters are very custom for every single customer in terms of the markets that we serve. There are a few frequencies in the world and packages that have been standardized for some of the very, very small packages. If a customer is talking to you about a crystal filter in 5 by 7 millimeter at 10.7, or 21.4 megahertz, or 45 megahertz, maybe even 70 megahertz. If it's in 5 by 7 millimeter, chances are it's a standard specification, and that becomes a different kind of cell, a different kind of promotion uh, than a very custom requirement. If your customer is talking about big solder sealed leaded packages of the type of crystal filters he uses, below 200 megahertz, uh, 25 by 15 by 10 millimeter, 36 by 16 by 13 millimeter in height. Chances are your customers talking about the same type of applications that we are strongest at serving. So up front, try to get a, a package size expectation from the customer. Is it a small SMD? Um, is it a crystal filter? Use the term saw filter just to see how they react, see if they're familiar with it. If they do, in fact, say, hey, my application is, in fact, for a saw filter, then odds are it's a very, very tiny package. Again, maybe 5 by 7 millimeter or even 2 by 2 millimeter. And saw filters tend to be for high volume applications, uh, smartphones, iPods, iPads subscriber type product using millions and millions of units per year. Saw filters is not our niche market. We would not serve the customer well uh, promoting those and selling those products. If the customer though says, yes, I need a small package and uh, I need a crystal filter called monolithic MCF filters, uh, those technologies are a little bit different than the custom crystal filters and the solder sealed packages, but some of those requirements can get very demanding and in fact some of those requirements can be uh, handled quite well from us in MCF, monolithic crystal filters. So again, if it's a crystal filter or a monolithic crystal filter, um, depending on the rest of the specification, um, it'll dictate whether it's a custom requirement that is closely matches uh, is compatible with our comp uh, capability. So again we picked a few frequencies as examples for the product brochure. The reason being we have hundreds and hundreds of designs in our design beta database over the last 40 years. We have 120 years of collective engineering design production engineering, quality engineering, crystal science, 
120 years of collective experience in-house. So we can pretty much design any sort of custom crystal filter uh, that, your cust that your customer is looking for. Again, back to your RF system block diagram, the IF filter. The IF filter uh, with milliwatts of power, 0 dBm, 1 milliwatt, 10 dBm, 10 milliwatts. Milliwatts, right? 1 milliwatt, point zero zero one watt. So it has to be very low power levels. IF filter, that's the application. In the uh, crystal filter market, in Europe, the United States, there's a handful of competitors at max in both Europe and the United States. I'm talking much less than 10 qualified competitors of our factory. It's a marketplace, unlike the oscillator market, where there are hundreds, there can be hundreds of competitors for commodity product. Even for OCXO, TCXO, high performance oscillators, there can be 10, 15, 20 competitors, depending on who is in the account. So the crystal filter, custom crystal filter product opportunity, combined with the crystal filter, the tunable filters, the modules, represents a very, very nice market in which both dynamic engineers and our sales network can be very successful in business on. And I urge you to dig up as many of these opportunities as you possibly can. From an application point of view, let me again re-emphasize on crystal filters. The RF, the IF channel of the mobile radios, right? Mobile radios, military radios, um, uh, with kilohertz bandwidth channel spacing. Medical instruments, medical instruments, depending on which section uh, of the electronic circuitry you have for medical instruments. Uh, there are some crystal filters that are used uh, for some of the wireless data transition, uh, wireless data transmissions from the medical instruments. Uh, that's another nice area. So again, um, the other aspect, and I want to bring out specifically about dynamic engineers, is in certain parts of the world, Dynamic Engineers as a, as a brand has a very strong, and I mean very strong, market share in crystal filters. For this reason, we will not post detailed crystal filter specifications on our website. That's how competitive it is. We check our competitors' websites for their data sheets. They do the same to ours. We will not publish the specific data sheets what we'll do is work with you to acquire all the specific parameters of a given crystal filter application. We will put the data sheet together for your customer. But there will be no, let me repeat, there will be no general data sheets. A couple of our competitors like to throw out what I consider very useless, useless general data sheets on crystal filters. It, there's really no information that is of use to the customer because all the parameters are interrelated. Once you need a certain pass band and you need a certain stop band, that dictates how many crystals you're going to use in the design, which then dictates your insertion loss, it dictates your ripple in the pass band, it dictates your group delay or group delay distortion. So we will not make up general data sheets or post specific custom data sheets that have previously been designed for other customers. But we'll give you a general idea in a table format of those designs. So we're always happy to do that. But not the complete data sheet. Again, because there could be a customer in which a competitor is looking to second source one of our designs. So we want to be very careful with that. Thank you very much.